everybody, this is Patrick, a.k.a. Papa Echo. And this is Ryan. And you know, Patrick, there are really two things I appreciate in life. What's that, Ryan? Beauty and sleeping. Wow, that, that's very deep. Thank you. Well, you're in luck because today we're going to show everyone how they can build their own sleeping beauty castle, both outside and in. Let's take a look at the exterior first. Everyone knows that Cinderella's castle is a set piece, and if a pretty castle will do, your work is done. But every Disney aficionado knows that the two princesses' castles each have their own unique look. While some of the towers from Cinderella can be used, let's custom build the rest. For the pink areas of the walls and towers, let's use the pink gloss texture. The cylindrical pillar block is great for the tall, thin towers, while the rectangular tall block and long block will take care of most of the flat areas. To match the blue tiling for the tower tops and the rooftops, let's try the blue scales texture. The ramp blocks will work great as the angled roof pieces, and we can try the triangle blocks and onion domes for the pointed spires. Adding an ESPN flag makes them look even more regal. And speaking of regal, let's take a look at making a Sleeping Beauty interior. You have a ton of things to choose from, but your best bet is King Stefan's castle walls, King Stefan's castle accent, and King Stefan's castle floor. For ceiling decoration, we recommend the castle banner chandelier. Some great decorations from the accent and decor category are the Beast's suit of armor, Aurora's cottage chest, and if you're feeling a little evil, Maleficent's spinning wheel. <gasps> oh no you didn't! For regal rugs, we really recommend the Cinderella castle carpet, King Stefan's castle rug, and Aurora's cottage rug. While looking through the windows... I see what you did there. <laughs> try Aurora's stained glass window, King Stefan's castle dais, the Cinderella castle drapes, and King Stefan's castle fireplace. From tables and cabinets, try the Fantasyland counters, the Darling Nursery nightstand, and if you're feeling hungry for a tasty table, the Grand Banquet Buffet. From wall hangings, Aurora's cottage wall shelf and a wide selection of castle banners will bring some beautiful color to your medieval abode. And what would Sleeping Beauty be without places to sleep? Man, that sleeping all the time must really be a curse. We recommend Sleeping Beauty's bed and, for the slightly younger princess, Aurora's bassinet. If sitting around is more your style, King Stefan's throne, the royal ruby chair, and the peacock chair are all great choices. No buts about it. <laughs> nice. Of course, there are a billion more options for decorating your perfect castle interior, so customize your royal manor however you wish. Well, that's it for this time. Leave any questions in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the Disney Infinity playlist for more in-depth tutorials on the awesome new 3.0 toy box. Tasty.